What's up, college football fans? Don't forget to check out and order your copy of Stiff Arming Football Myths, our latest football game plan book. So go on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copy. We have these available in paperback as well as in PDF form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preview of the 2014 RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl between the Nevada Wolfpack and the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. Now let's take a look at some coaching points for both teams in this ballgame, starting with Nevada. For the Wolfpack in this ballgame, the biggest battle they'll have to win offensively is between their offensive line versus that Cajuns defensive front. You look at center Matt Gallus, right guard Connor Talbot, and left guard Joey Engelmeyer. I think those guys will play a huge role in whether or not the Wolfpack have success running the football. And they have to win on first down defensively. You want to put this raging Cajuns offense in a passing situation. I believe that's a win for the Wolfpack. So if they can win on first down, get these guys in second and long, third and long situations, that's a positive for the defensive side of the ball for Nevada. And you have to get off to a fast start. The Cajuns are an offense that can strike quickly. And if you can match their intensity early on in the ball game, both offensively and defensively, it bodes well for the Wolfpack's chances to come away victorious. And for the Cajuns in this ball game, I look at their red zone offense having to play excellent football this week versus the Wolfpack again. This is a football team that does a great job within the red zone. I'm talking about the Wolfpack's defense and offensively for the Cajuns. At times, they can stall and come away with three. They have to put sevens on the board consistently versus Nevada. And I look at the wide receivers winning the individual matchups on the outside. This is a very talented secondary for Nevada. If those guys on the flanks can't win those individual matchups, this offense for Louisiana could struggle. And the biggest battle, I believe, defensively that they'll have to win is with their outstanding cornerback, Corey Trim going against the talented Nevada receiver Richie Turner. Turner is a guy that has tremendous speed, gets in and out of his breaks very quickly. If they can't win that battle, it could be a long day for this Cajuns defense. The biggest X factor in this ballgame for Nevada will be the play of their interior defensive line. You want to stop the Cajuns offense, you have to win on the inside. You look at no tackle Jordan Hansen and Raheem Cates. Those two defensive tackles, in my opinion, will play the biggest role in the outcome of this ballgame, especially on the defensive side for Nevada. That allows Jonathan McNeil, the Mike linebacker, and Matthew Lyons and Brian Lane Jr. to have success and free reign to the football. And for the Raging Cajuns, I look at quarterback Terrence Broadway having to have a good day throwing the football. He doesn't have to throw for 300-plus yards, but he does have to keep this offense on pace to back up that box a little bit. Otherwise, you're going to start to see Nevada play closer to the line of scrimmage to try to stop Elijah McGuire and Alonzo Harris. And what they're going to do is challenge Broadway to beat them throwing the football. And he has to be ready to accept that challenge and make plays consistently in the passing game. Now, here are some 2015 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on in this ballgame. And there's going to be a boatload of defensive talent, especially on the defensive line with Brock Hecking of Nevada, Christian Ringo of Louisiana, who has 10 and a half sacks coming into this ballgame, and Justin Hamilton, who frees up a lot of opportunities for Ringo to have success. So, again, you're going to see some great defensive line play and some great play at the cornerback position with Corey Trim. And on the offensive line with Kyle Roberts, Cody Fajaro, the quarterback of Nevada, has already accepted an invitation to play in the East West Shrine game. The University of Nevada has always produced some great receiver talent from Andy Van Slyke to Nate Burleson, but Trevor Inslee from 1996 to 1999 put together an impressive career. The 5'9", 183-pound receiver is the career leader in receiving yardage with 5,005 and also the NCAA career leader in most 200-yard games by a receiver with six most career 100-yard games with 26 and the single-season receiving yardage leader with 2,060. He did that as a senior where he also averaged 187.3 yards a game. One of the greatest players in Cajuns history is Charles Tillman, played there from 1999 to 2002, was a four-year starter, honorable mention All-American, two-time All-Sun Belt Conference performer, and finished his career with 12 interceptions. His jersey was recently retired this season, and he also led the nation, the Independents, in interceptions in 2000 with six.
In the 2003 New Orleans Bowl, the Memphis Tigers, led by quarterback Danny Wimprine, faced off against the Sun Belt Conference champion North Texas Mean Green, who had a tremendous tailback in Patrick Cobbs. And the Tigers, for the most part, was able to keep the Mean Green's ground attack under control. And with the help of two field goals by Steven Goskowski, Memphis was able to win 27-17. The 1948 Salad Bowl was a very good matchup between Nevada and North Texas, and 12,500 fans attended the inaugural game that took place in Phoenix, Arizona, led by All-American and Heisman Trophy candidate Stan Heath. The Wolfpack's defense dominated the 10-1 Mean Green, beating North Texas 13-6. Last year's New Orleans Bowl was an instant classic between Tulane and Louisiana, and the Raging Cajuns jumped out to a 21 to nothing lead before the Green Wave came roaring back to tie the football game. The Cajuns took a three-point lead with one minute and eight seconds left to play, and Tulane's All-American kicker Cairo Santos missed a 48-yard field goal as time expired to give the Cajuns a 24 to 21 win and their third straight New Orleans Bowl title. I like the Raging Cajuns in this ball game. I believe Louisiana will control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. You look at their talented duo of tailbacks, Alonzo Harris and Elijah McGuire. I think they'll have some success running versus Nevada. And defensively, Christian Ringo is playing outstanding football. And I think he'll do a great job in slowing down Cody Fajaro and what they want to do out of that pistol. So I think the Raging Cajuns win their fourth straight New Orleans Bowl title.